whether on the tabletop or the computer, exciting sports simulation action plays here. This is Imagisport. Hello there and welcome to the Imagine Sports Showcase. I'm Derek Jones. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. Um, on this video, we are going to go back to Play.com's Hockey Blast. I'm going to do a one-off game and I'm going to take the time machine back to November the 6th, 1993. That is the night when Manon Rayon became the first woman to win a game that she started in the ECHL. It was a game between the Knoxville Cherokees and the Johnstown Chiefs. Knoxville won that game nine to six and Manon made 32 saves in that contest. I remember watching that game uh, back Back at that time, our local uh, public access station carried the cheap road games on tape delay, so I was fortunate enough to witness that history, although my team was on the wrong end of it. So we're going to replay that today using my homebrew uh, set that I made a couple years ago, the 1993-94 ECHL season, which you can download for free right now on the free stuff section of the play.com website. Uh, a couple of notes before we get to the action. I wanted to try to get as close to the actual lineups as I could. There was no information that I could find as far as who actually dressed in that game. So I went with who I believed to have been on the team during the first half of the season. Therefore, there's going to be a couple cards from Nashville that are actually going to be on both teams on the Johnstown side. Uh, Jamie Adams and Chuck Wiegand are added to the Chiefs roster for this game because they were with the Chiefs the first half of the 93-94 season. Uh, no Bruce Coles in this game. He actually spent the first half of that season overseas before joining Johnstown. And believe it or not, Manon Rayom, uh, her card in my set is actually with Nashville because she played four games for the Cherokees, then got traded to Nashville and played four games for the Knights. She actually did fairly decent. She's 5-0-1 record, 3.91 goals against average, and a respectable 887 save percentage. So with that in mind, uh, the, like I said, those were just the changes. Uh, Nothing really else to say except let's get ready to drop that puck and head on down to the Knoxville Civic Coliseum for today's contest between the Johnstown Chiefs and the Knoxville Cherokee. And we're just about set for the first period of play here at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum between the Chiefs and the Cherokees in the historic Manon Rayom game where she became the first female goaltender to record a win in her first professional start. Things are set up a little bit different in the East Coast Hockey League back in 1993 when this game took place. They only dressed 15 skaters, so we're going to basically go with three lines and two defense pairings for this game, and there is a sub, forward, and defenseman for each team. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and drop the puck, and we're underway here in Knoxville. And our first one is a four. It's going to be the high face-off player, and that is going to go to Nick Bichon of the Cherokees. And we're going to roll again, but it's going to be a lull. Three minutes, go off the clock. Nothing happens in the first part of the game, and we're back at center ice for a face-off. And now it's going to be a five. The Chiefs win the face-off this time, and it's going to be an immediate play. And it's going to be four, two, three. It's going to be Woods and Christian feeding Ted Dent. One, two, three, four star shot for Dent. He gets that. Rayom does not make the save. It is a goal for Ted Dent. And the Chiefs are on the board first. So for the Chiefs, it is going to be Ted Dent getting the goal and Gord Christian and Bob Woods with the assists on it. And time of the goal is going to be 341. So Johnstown is up to an early one nothing lead. And 
and we'll drop the puck, but it's going to be a law. Three more minutes off the clock, and that's going to kill the momentum for Johnstown. We'll drop the puck again, and this time it's going to be an 11. It is waved off, so we will go to our next two face-off competitors here. And it's going to be a six. The Chiefs are going to win the face-off again this time. And the next roll is going to be a 10. Do we have a square for a turnover? Yes, we do, as Frank Evans has a square for Knoxville. So they will carry the puck off the ice. And it's going to be a Zoom result. It is going to be Hollis versus Leesk. And the quality that we're going to be checking here is the star quality. Hollis has the star. Leesk does not play for Knoxville. And it's going to be a four. It's going to be one, three, four. So it's going to be Hollis and Evans. Or no, Hollis and Murray, excuse me, and Evans will take the shot. But it's only going to be one star for the Cherokees, and he is not going to get that. So it's going to be a shot for Knoxville there. But on the rebound attempt, it's, we need two squares on defense, and we do not have it. So it's going to be 0-4 on the rebound. Frank's going to get a... Another shot here, it's going to be, once again, a one-star shot. That's going to be easily saved by Rob Laurie, the Johnstown goaltender, and it's going to be hailed for a face-off. So down to 12 minutes to go here in period number one, and the Chiefs are holding a 1-0 lead. And so we're going to have the high face-off, 54-49. to Jeff Reed wins it for Knoxville. And so we'll drop the puck again. It's going to be another Zoom result. This time it's going to be Rogers versus Woods. And this one is going to be the smart category. Rogers is not smart. Woods is. So it's going to be a no shot and a turnover. And we will change lines once again. And so another lull. Three more minutes off the clock here. Down to eight minutes left. And we'll go ahead and drop the puck one more time. This time it's Knoxville winning the faceoff. And it's going to be a play result. So we're going to count the triangles here. One, two, three. Uh, three tri triangles for Johnstown. One, two, three triangles for Knoxville. So tiebreaker, nobody has momentum. So Knoxville will get to play being the home team. And it's going to be a three, one choice. So it's going to be Vashon and Flamenhoft getting the assist. And we're going to give Meyer the shot. So it's going to be a five-star shot for Knoxville this time. And they're going to get it. It's going to be an easy goal for Kim Meyer. So Meyer ties it up for Knoxville. And so Vashon and Fleminghoff. On the assists. Time of the goal is going to be 12 14, and we are tied at a goal apiece. So we will give Knoxville momentum and we'll go ahead and drop the puck for our second lines. And now it's going to be Knoxville winning with an immediate play to boot. So an easy opportunity to take the lead here. 2-1-3 is going to be our play chance this time. And they do have momentum. So it's going to be 2-3. Another five-star shot for the Cherokees. But Rob Laurie is going to make the save this time. And whenever we uh, – on a three, it's going to be – we need two squares. We only have one square. So it's going to be a rebound for Frank Evans. So Frank Evans is going to get the rebound shot opportunity, but it's only a one-star shot for that, and that is going to be saved by Rob Laurie. It's snared with the glove hand, and so we will uh, we'll turn the puck over, mark a minute off the clock, and we will change lines. And this time it's going to be 11. We're going to look for two squares here. We do not have two squares for Johnstown. So it is going to be another play attempt for Knoxville here. And this time it's going to be a 12. It's going to be two, three, four. So it's going to be Rogers, Reed, and Evans. And it's only going to amount to a one-star shot this time. So, oh, but he does get that one. And it is past Laurie. And we have another goal for Knoxville. 
And this time it's going to be Frank Evans, the defenseman, getting it from Reed and Rogers. And the time of that goal is going to be 14 13. And so just like that, the Cherokees have now taken the lead in this game. They are up two to one. So we'll drop the puck again, and it's going to be the home team winning the faceoff again. That is going to be Knoxville, and it's going to be a two. And we're going to see if uh, somebody's going to be – looks like Carl LeBlanc and Gordy Christian. We'll see if they drop the gloves. The black die will be LeBanc, and the white die will be Christian here. And, no, there's not going to be a fight here because the five is out of Carl LeBlanc's three – fight range. So we'll have some pushing and shoving here. There's going to be nothing happening. And we're just going to basically kill some momentum at that point. And we will switch the lines here. And so, oh, and we have another lull. So down to one minute remaining in the period and we have another law to end things so we have played one here at the knoxville civic coliseum and your score after the first 20 minutes the knoxville cherokees two and the johnstown chiefs one and we'll be back with second period action right after this timeout and two quick goals by kim Mayer and frank evans give the knoxville cherokees a two to one lead over the Johnstown Chiefs after one period of play here on the showcase. I just want to take this time to let you know that Hockey Blast can be purchased at the play.com website. So let's take a look over there right now. As you can see, there is the informational page that tells you about the game. The game itself is $49. And you can get many different seasons for it. You can get current seasons. You can get some past seasons like 1979-80 and some other seasons that are listed. You can also get fictional seasons as well. Those are all on the shop page. So whenever you click on order now for Hockey Blast, you'll be able to get the game and you'll be able to be able to see the uh, seasons that are available. There are also many seasons available in the free stuff section. So I'm gonna go there uh, right now. And as you can see, there are some that I've created. There are some that are other gamers have created. And again, these are great sets to uh, play with. So feel free to download any of them uh, from the play.com website. Just give you a screenshot here of what one of the card sets look like. These are some of the uh, cards from Johnstown and Knoxville that we are using in today's game that I uh, created. I have some other uh, ECHL seasons as well, 1990-91, and also 1988-89, uh, and I also have a season from the old North American Hockey League, 1974-75. That was the uh, season that inspired the movie Slapshot, for those of you who are Slapshot fans out there. Like I said, if you want any of those sets, go to the free stuff section of the play.com website you can download them there or you can simply email me at djones90 at yahoo.com and i will send them your way um, in real life the uh, knoxville cherokees were actually a pretty decent team they finished 44 18 and 6 they won the regular season championship but they lost in the first round of the playoffs to the 16th seed louisville ice hawks uh, the chiefs were kind of decent as well they were 32 27 and 4 uh, they made the playoffs, but they lost in the first round to the Columbus Shill. For those of you who were curious, the Toledo Storm were actually the East Coast Hockey League Riley Cup champions that particular season. Well, enough of that. Let's get back to the action. Uh, we'll take you to Knoxville once again for second period action between the Chiefs and the Cherokee. Okay, second period, just about to get started here in Knoxville. Here's the opening puck drop, and it's a 10. We're going to a high faceoff, and it's going to be Nick Vachon for the Cherokees getting the puck this time, and we're going to have our first penalty event of the day. So let's go over to our penalty event chart. 
and see, oh, we, yep, that is our penalty event chart. So let's see what we have here. It's going to be a six. So we're going to be looking at D5. So it's going to be Marty Dorsonens against Flamenhoff. Dorsonens is going to get penalized here. And let's see what the call is going to be. It's just going to be a minor penalty. So Dorsonens will get whistled for the minor penalty. So Johnstown, Dorsonens. And let's see what penalty he is going to be called for back in the back of the book here. It is going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct. So Dorson ends, gets two for an unsportsmanlike. And it's going to be in the very first minute, so basically nine seconds. So we'll drop off a minute, and the Cherokees – are going to be going on the power play for the next two minutes. All right, so with that, so let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to utilize one of Knoxville's line skips to get the top lines back up to get a power play star into play. There's no sense doing any line skip yet for Johnstown because they don't have any uh, circles for the penalty kill uh, and they don't really have any squares either. They were not a very good defensive team that season. So we'll go ahead with our power minutes here and we'll drop the puck and there'll be a three. Oh, this one's waved off. So we're going to have new ones here. And so we're going to go ahead and drop it again. This time it's going to be 11. It's going to be a man advantage team. So Knoxville is going to carry the mail in and it's going to be an automatic power play chance for the Cherokees, and it's going to be 3-2-1. So we're going to have Vachon and Meyer assisting Flamenhoff. And with the momentum, that's a five-star shot, and that is going to be a chance for a spectacular save for Rob Laurie. So let's see what the spec save chart is. It is a seven, two or better he is, and he does make that spectacular save. So Knoxville with the shot. Laurie with the spec save there to keep it. At two to one. However, the Chiefs are going to be unable to grab momentum for that just because of the fact that the Cherokees are still on the power play. But I think we'll give them momentum for a minute if they're able to kill this penalty. So with that in mind, we'll go back to the first defenseman pair, but we will put uh, Bordeaux in because Dorsonens is still in the box at this point. And then we'll go ahead and uh, move him back down whenever the penalty is over. So here we go, second minute of the power play, and we have an unusual result here. And so the unusual result is going to be another an unusual penalty. So let's see what this unusual penalty is. It's going to be a 21. Penalty on 01, a minor for charging. So Scott Hollis is going to get the gate here. Two for a charge. So the time of that is going to be two minutes and 14 seconds. And so just like that, now the Cherokees find themselves Shorthanded, and Johnstown's going to go on a power play. So with that in mind, we'll have Johnstown use a line skip to get their top guys out there. And they need some penalty killers here, but in a normal – but they will have the two there. So they will conserve their line skip or double shift for later. So – we have our line set up here. Let's drop the puck and see what happens. It is an eight. Man advantage team wins the faceoff, and we do have circle stars, so it's going to be an immediate play for the Chiefs, and it's going to be 3-2-1. It's going to be Dent and Christian feeding Dennis Purdy, and it's going to be a six-star shot, so we need two on the white die for a save, and we get a four, and Dennis Purdy has tied this game up for the Johnstown Chiefs. Dennis Purdy from Christian and Ted Dent, and that is on the power play. And the time of that goal is going to be 3:12.
and we have a tie game once again. It is now 2-2. Two, two. So Hollis will come back on the ice here. And we'll drop the puck one more time, and it's going to be an eight, and Knoxville is going to go ahead and get the faceoff. And it's going to be a momentum check. The momentum goes to Johnstown for getting the last goal, so they will get the puck. And it's going to be an ice blast this time. And let's see what the ice blast is going to be checking on. It's going to be checking on the hit quality. We have one, two, three hits for the Chiefs, and one, two, three for the uh, – Cherokees as well, so they're equal, but the Chiefs already have the momentum, so they're going to get the play out of it this time. And it's going to be a 1-3-4, so it's going to be Wiegand feeding Hoffman, and that's going to feed Perry Florio. And with the momentum stars, we are talking about a three-star shot here. So let's see what happens. Nope, uh, save by Manon Rion, and it's going to be snared with the glove hand. And the Cherokees are going to wind up with the puck this time as we go to a new minute. So new personnel come on the ice for both teams here. And it's going to be another ice blast. And this time our ice blast is going to be on smart. So we're going to have one, two, three smarts for the Chiefs. One, two, three, four, five for Knoxville. So Knoxville is actually going to be getting the play this time. It's going to be a 3-2-1. It's going to be Murray, Metcalf, and Hollis. So a six-star shot. So we need two on the white die to get a save, and we get that two. So Rob Lurie with a big save there, but it's off the post. We have a square on defense. We do with Dorson, and so the Chiefs are going to get the puck and we're going to go to the next minute. As we run the puck again, now this time it's going to be an on-man rush. Who are we going to be looking for? We're going to be looking for to see if D3 has a square, and Jeffrey does. So it's going to be a no shot there. So with that, that's going to pretty much do it for the Chiefs' momentum here. And we're going to change lines once again. And it's going to be an ice blast one more time. And the ice blast this time is going to be for power. One, two powers for the Chiefs. One, two, three for Knoxville. They're going to get another play. And it's going to be three, one choice. So it's going to be Vachon and Flamenhoft, and we'll see if Meyer can get another goal here, and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five star shot for Kim Meyer. He gets that, but Laurie saves it, and the four, do we have a square on defense once again? Yes, we do with uh, Dorsonens, and so the Chiefs are going to get the puck back, and we are going to go down another minute of play, so we're down to the 12-minute mark. And we're still tied at two here in the second period, and we have our first lull of the period. So down, down to nine minutes to go. And so we have a six. The Chiefs win the faceoff this time. And so this time it's going to be an eight. We're going to have another ice blast coming up, and this time it's going to be for Smart again. So we have one, two smarts for Johnstown. One, two, three. Knoxville is the smarts this time, and so they will get the puck. There will be no shot, and we will change lines once again. Eight minutes to go, tied at two, and now we have another play result. And so one, two, three, four triangles for the Chiefs, and only one for the uh, Cherokee. So the Chiefs are going to get the play attempt this time, and it is going to be 3-1 choice. So here we have Ted Dent and Dennis Purdy, and we'll give the shot to Gord Christian. So one, two, three, four, another six-star shot. So once again, we need a two on the white dice, and we are going to get it. And so we have, do we have a square on defense for Knoxville? You bet we do. So they're going to end up with the puck. And so the clock ticks down to seven minutes remaining. Tied at two. And we're going to get a lull here. So three minutes off the clock there. 
down to four minutes remaining in the period, and we will go ahead and drop the puck one more time. So now it's going to be the Chiefs, and this time they are going to get an immediate play out of it. And it's going to be another 3-1 choice, but this time it's going to be Hoffman and Wiegand. And we're going to go ahead and give the shot to Jamie Adams. So it's going to be a three-star shot for Adams. So they get the shot, but Rayom saves it one more time. And do we have two squares on defense for the Cherokees? Well, we would if we had momentum, but the Cherokees do not have momentum this time. So it is going to be a rebound for 04. That is Perry Florio. So Florio, zero shot becomes a one, but he does not get it. So we have another rebound coming up, and this time it's going to be for 0-1. That's going to be Chuck Wiegand. So a two-star shot becomes a four since this is the second rebound chance, but he doesn't get it with the black die of six. So Rayon stops that one easily. And the Cherokees are going to get the puck once again, and we're down to three minutes remaining in the period. So let's we'll roll a decider to see if the uh, Cherokees will use a double shift here to keep their top line out. Odd, they will, and it is odd. So they're going to do that. So they'll take care of their double shift here. Eh, let's see. And it's going to be six this time. It is going to be a zoom, and it is going to be Boston going up against Hannes. And let's see what we're going to do here. It's going to be speed. Boston has speed. Hannes does not. So it's going to be a play attempt for the Cherokees, and it's going to be 3-1 choice once again. So Vashon and Flamenhoff, and again, they're going to feed Meyer for that five-star shot attempt, but they get a six one more time. And not only that, but because it's 11, it's a breakaway chance for the Chiefs. So let's see. Who's going to have the breakaway attempt? It's going to be 3-1 choice there. It's going to be Jennings and Hannes, and they're going to feed, of all people, Corey Banica, who's known more for his penalty minutes than he is for his scoring. But it's going to be a four-star shot with the momentum stars. But he gets a five, and that's not going to do it here as Rayom will make the save there, and the puck goes back to Knoxville. Chiefs will use their double shift to keep their top line out. Knoxville will go down one, two minutes left, and we are tied 2-2. Two, two, and we have an ice blast situation here, and we're going to look for the hit quality. We have one, two, three, four hits for the Chiefs, and we have one, two, three, four hits for Knoxville. Home team, Knoxville gets it, so they are going to get momentum as well as a play attempt for that ice blast, and it's going to be 4-2 choice this time. It's going to be Evans and Metcalf, and we'll give the shot to Scott Hollis. So one, two, three. It's going to be a six-star shot once again. We need two on the white die. We do not get it this time, and Knoxville has retaken the lead as Scott Hollis gets the goal here. And the assists are going to go to Metcalf and Evans. And the time of the goal here is going to be 18 minutes and zero seconds there. So at the 18-minute mark, Knoxville goes up 3-2 to two with one minute remaining in the period. Drop the puck for the final minute. It's going to go to high faceoff, 54 to 51. That's still going to go to Knoxville. And so we're going to drop it once again. It's going to be a Zoom call. It's going to be Rogers versus Florio. And that is going to be on the smart category. And Rogers does not have smart. Florio does. No shot. And that's going to do it for period number two. So... Two periods in the books here at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. The score after two, the Knoxville Cherokees three, and the Johnstown Chiefs two. And we'll be back with third period action right after this timeout. So Knoxville is hanging on a three to two lead over Johnstown as we head to the second intermission. Just wanted to take this time to just uh, tell you a little bit about some of the things I'm doing. 
uh, sports simulation wise. Uh, we will start uh, with hockey since we're talking about that a little bit. Uh, my Stratomatic Hockey Leagues, the Rewind Hockey League is uh, in its third month right now. Um, my Kings are second in the Wales Conference for 1978-79. Uh, pretty decent shot to make the playoffs, but there is a log jam for the playoff spots this year. The Jack Adams Memorial Hockey League season uh, concluded back in October. The Sault Ste. Marie Shih Tzus won that in a thrilling seven-game series over the Oakville Beavers. Draft for that's coming up in early March. Uh, the Hall of Fame League that I was in is, was featured on the showcase. I did wind up finishing dead last in that with uh, my Whalers. But our commissioner of that league decided to let all six teams in the playoffs. So I eventually made my way to the finals where I was defeated by the commissioner's team four games to one, where all four of my losses were in overtime. So again, sometimes that's the, the way the dice roll, or in this case, that's the way that the computer spits out the data since I was using the computer version of Stratomatic Hockey. Still plugging along with the 80s Greats Hockey League and shootout hockey. Not really going that fast of a pace of it. Maybe try to get in a few games a week of that. I'll try to get back to that on the channel at some point. Of course, as you know, the Old School Wrestling Association with Face to the Mat. That's an ongoing project. So next video will probably be episode nine of old school wrestling. And then actually playing some new games that I got for Christmas, History Maker Baseball and History Maker Golf from Play.com. Both of them are turning out to be very fun games. I've played a couple one-off tournaments now with uh, golf, uh, one using the Kapalua course, one with a course from Pebble Beach that I downloaded for, from somewhere. And so that's that's been pretty interesting. I, I don't know if I'll put golf on the channel. I don't even know if I'll play it on a regular basis, but it is very fun to get out uh, once in a while. History Maker Baseball, just kind of going through the starter set that came with the game, the 75 Red Sox and Reds. I'm going through replaying the World Series right now. Three games are in the book. The Red Sox are up two games to one there. Second season football, just finished the Pennsylvania Football League. The Pittsburgh Blasters, represented by the San Diego Football America Cards, won their second consecutive championship over the Johnstown Iron Dogs, uh, who were represented by San Antonio. Final score of the Keystone Bowl was 39-17. to 17. I played the full version of second season for that. And, of course, playing a full game of second season takes two hours. That's why I did not put that on the showcase. Um, then other than that, the only other hockey thing to uh, talk about is the next card set that I am working on for Hockey Blast. And I've given it some thought and I've decided that the next one is going to be the 2003-04 ECHL season. And you're probably wondering why 2003-04. It kind of holds uh, some personal uh, feelings for me. Uh, 2003-04 uh, could be argued was one of the best seasons in Johnstown Chiefs history, uh, aside from the year that they went to the Riley Cup Finals and lost in Game 7. In the 03-04 season, they uh, amassed a record for their team of 45 wins and 97 points. In the second half of that season, they went 28-6-4. They went 10-1-1 one one in their last 12 games. So they were certainly a team that was playing with a lot of fire, a lot of chemistry, and poised to make a deep run into the ECHL playoffs. However, they ran into a stumbling block. They finished in fourth place in a very stacked North Division that season. And because of that, they had to play the fifth place Reading Royals in a one-game playoff to see who would move on to face the uh, first place Wheeling Thunderbirds. And unfortunately for the Chiefs, they lost two to one to a very hot Reading goaltender. And that basically killed the dream. And that was the closest they ever got to contending for any championship in the East Coast Hockey League before the franchise eventually moved to uh, Greenville, South Carolina in 2010. So anyway, that's the set that I'm going to be doing, 2003-04. Another, another, Note to uh, 
inform you about in that set was NHL goaltender Arturs Urbe played 14 games for the Chiefs that year and did very well. Uh, the way that he came to Johnstown, that was bizarre in and of itself. He was he was caught up in a numbers game with uh, Carolina. He did they didn't necessarily want to send him to the American Hockey League. They had a couple prospects there that they wanted to develop. Um, they he wasn't ready. Like there were a couple goaltenders ahead of him on the depth chart at the NHL level, so they decided to send him to Johnstown. And like I said, he. At first, he was a little leery, but then he warmed up to it. He became very popular with the Johnstown faithful. Like I said, played 14 games there before eventually getting called back to Carolina. So, again, that's the 2003-04 season. That is going to be my next card set. That year, the ECHL had 31 teams, so it's going to take me a while to complete this one. I'm looking at an initial estimated release date, probably December of 2021 for that. But uh, I will keep you updated on my progress with the set. And then of course, when it, once it's out, I will let everybody know and I'll probably send it to Keith so that he can uh, post it on his website or in one of his emails as well. So that's it for what I'm doing. Now let's get back to our main feature today, that being the game between the Chiefs and the Cherokees. Can Manon Rayom repeat history? and win this game we will soon find out let's go right now to the third period and the teams are back out on the ice for period number three it's still anybody's hockey game at this point the cherokees lead the chiefs by a score of three to two and we are underway now with the third and it's going to go to johnstown on an immediate play and that immediate play is going to be three two one so it's going to be get dent and christian Feeding Purdy, two, three, four, five star shot for the Chiefs, but they get a six, and that is not going to do it. Saved by Rayom, and so the Cherokees will get the puck as we change lines here. And we're going to have a Zoom call here. It's going to be Evans versus Adams, and that is going to be on hit quality. Evans has the hit. Adams does not, so they will get the play. They will get momentum because of that one hit and they are going to have a 3-1 choice as their play attempt so murray and hollis feeding metcalf one two three four star shot with the momentum in tow but ooh, they get a five there so nothing doing but it's another 11 another breakaway opportunity for johnstown let's see what the play result is it's nine four two choice so it's going to go florio to adams and we will give it to Wiegand. So one, two, three, four, five star shot here, but it's a six and Riom's going to hold it down for a face off. Wow. End to end action here to start this third period of play. So here we go with the third lines out there and we'll drop the puck one more time and it's going to be Johnstown getting the face off here and it's going to be an ice blast. So let's see what that's going to entail. Smart's what we're looking for here. One, two, three smarts for Johnstown. One, two, three smarts for the Cherokees. So Cherokees being the home team, they will take the puck and we will go down another minute. Cherokees still up three to two early here in the third. Zoom result this time. Flumenhoff versus Leesk. And we're looking for speed this time. Flumenhoff does not have it. Leask does. So Chiefs are going to take over. Another no shot. Another minute off the clock. And we change lines once again. And it's going to be an 11 this time. We have two squares on the ice for the Cherokees. We do in LeBanc and Boston. So we're going to go ahead and it's going to be another no shot there. And this time we're going to have a play result here. Let's see how many triangles. Do, 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 do. No triangles for either side. So in that case, it's just going to be a three-minute lull. So we're down to 12 minutes remaining in the third period. Knoxville still holding on. 
to a 3-2 lead. And this time, the faceoff goes to the Cherokees, and they have an immediate play, that play being 4-1-2. So it's going to be Evans and Villeneuve feeding Rodgers. But it's going to be just a two-star shot here, and he does not get the goal on that. But there is going to be a rebound attempt, 4-0-1. That's Villeneuve. So his two-star shot becomes a three. He gets the two. Laurie does not have a rebound shot rating, though, so that is going to be a goal. So it's going to be Villeneuve on the rebound shot for the goal, and the assists are going to go to Rogers and Evans, and that's a big insurance goal there for the Cherokees as they now have a 4-2 to two lead, and 8-58 is going to be the time of that goal. So a big rebound shot there for Brian, for Bruno Villeneuve. And now it's a two goal lead for Knoxville. And now their chance to add to it because they get an immediate play off of this face off and it's going to be three, one choice. So we got Vashon, Flamenhoff and Meyer once again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six star shots. So we do need a play save here. And we get one. Lori's going to stop that puck and he's going to hold on for a face off. Halfway through the third, four to the score. We're going to drop it once again and get a lull. That's going to kill the momentum for Knoxville. And we're going to go to the Chiefs getting an immediate play this time. Let's see if they can scratch back in it. It's going to be 3-1 choice, Hoffman and Wiegand feeding Adams. But it's only going to be a three-star shot here. Can he get it? He gets the three, and so he's going to get the goal, and the Chiefs are back to within one. Jamie Adams. With that goal, and the assists are going to go to Wiegand and Hoffman. And time of the goal here is going to be 13.56. So now it's a 4-3 to three Knoxville lead. Third liners come out here. Here we go. High face off. That is going to go to Knoxville. And, but it's going to be a lull. And that's going to take us down to the final three minutes here in regulation. 4 3 to score. Go ahead and drop the puck here. It's going to go to the Chiefs. And it's going to be a nine momentum check. So we have one, two hits here. We have one, two, four hits there. So they're going to get the puck and momentum. And let's see what happens from there. There is uh, – so basically, there's no lulls in the last three minutes. So it's going to be another momentum check. They already have the momentum. So it's going to be a cheap shot this time. And it's going to be a zoom result. So we have this time Villeneuve against Dorsonens. And it's going to be for hit. Villeneuve and Dorsonens both have hit, but the Cherokees have momentum. So they're going to get the play out of this. But it's going to be a secondary play. And it's going to be 12. It's going to be 5-4-1. So Boston and LeBanc and Villeneuve. So we're talking one, two. Four-star shot. This could ice it, and it does. So Bruno Villeneuve. And the assists are from LeBanc. LeBlanc, excuse me. And Boston. Time of the goal here is 1734. So with two minutes to go, Knoxville has their two goal lead back. So 
Hmm. Not so sure what the Chiefs are going to want to try to do here. Well, they do have their top line coming up, so they will stick with that. Knoxville won't do anything either. So two minutes to go, five to three. And here we go. It's going to be the visitors, the Chiefs, taking the face off here. And it's going to be a momentum check. Well, that's easily going to go to the Cherokees here. And it's going to be another Zoom result. This time it's going to be LeBlanc versus Christian. And we are going to check for speed. LeBlanc doesn't have it. Christian does not have it. If neither one has it, it does go to the defense. So, so Johnstown is uh, – actually, there's no shot on there. We're down to one minute to go. And so Chiefs are going to use their double shift to keep their top line out there. Knoxville is content with their second line and their top defense pairing. And just to kind of make things interesting, we will go to empty net minutes here, and we will have, we'll have Wiegand be the extra attacker for Johnstown. And so it's going to be a turnover. Offensive team, man advantage, or shorthanded, loses possession of the puck. No line change, no time advance. So basically, puck's going to go back to Knoxville here. And it's going to be a spectacular save coming up. So, so let's see who, first off, who is going to get the shot for the spectacular save here. It's going to be the highest rated shooter. It's going to be Hollis here. And so, the defense team must make a spectacular save. So, the spectacular save on on here, so we'll go to this deflection chart right here and see what happens. We will roll it, and it's gonna be a nine. Two squares on defense deflected off the skate. They only have one square on defense, so that's going to be an empty net goal. And that empty net goal is going to go to Hollis. So with that in mind, We'll see who the assists are going to go to. They're going to go to the two highest uh, persons on the ice. That's going to be Metcalf and Murray. And that's going to be the empty net. And so time of that empty net goal is going to be 1958. And that is going to make it a 6-3 contest. Now, usually the, uh, the game does not end on a goal. So uh, one more. One more drop of the puck for a face-off doesn't really do much of anything. So that's the final buzzer, and we are done here at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. And your final score today, the Knoxville Cherokees defeat the Johnstown Chiefs. Manon Rayom does it again, holding the Chiefs to only three goals and picking up the win as she relives history. So let's go back to the studio for our wrap-up of this game. And what a game that we had today. The Cherokees finally pulling away from the Johnstown Chiefs. Six to three was the final of today's game as Manon Rayon was able to repeat history, becoming the first woman to win the game that she started in the East Coast Hockey League. Let's go ahead and go to our scoring summary, let you know how we came up with our result today. The Chiefs scored first in this game at 341 of the first period. Ted Dent got the goal. The assists went to Gord Christian and Bob Woods, and it was 1-0 Johnstown. But then Kim Meyer tied it for the Cherokees at 12-14. The assists there went to Nicholas Bichon and Steve Flamenhoff, and it was 1-1. A couple minutes later, Frank Evans uh, put it in for Knoxville. Assists to Jeff Reed and Mark Rogers, and after one, it was 2-1 to one in favor of the Cherokees. In the second period, Johnstown tied it up again. Dennis Purdy with a power play goal, assisted by Gordy Christian 
and Ted Dent, and we were all tied at two. But then with two minutes left in the second period, it was Scott Hollis and the assists coming from Scott Metcalf and Frank Evans. And so as we went into the second intermission, the score was three to two in favor of Knoxville. But then it was all Knoxville in the third period. Bruno Villeneuve uh, scored to put the Cherokees up four to two. Rogers and Evans had the assists on that one. Uh, Johnstown made it close, or at least they tried to, at 1356. Jamie Adams scored. The assists went to Chuck Wiegand and Matt Hoffman. And so that made the score four to three, but then Bruno Villeneuve, once again, he kind of put the nail in the coffin at 1734. The assists there were from Carl LeBlanc and Scott Boston. At that point, it was five to three, and then Hollis had an empty net goal at the end. Uh, Metcalf and Mike Murray with the assist on that with two seconds to go, which made your final score not still six and Johnstown three. So our three stars of the game, they went like this. The third star went to Ted Dent of the Chiefs. He had a goal and an assist and kept the Chiefs in this game throughout the first uh, period, period and a half of it. The second star went to Bruno Villeneuve from Knoxville. He had two goals in the third period that pretty much put the game away for the Cherokees. And our number one star in the Imagine Sport player of the game was Manon Rayom, the goaltender of the Knoxville Cherokees. She was able to repeat her historical feat from back in 1993 when she became the first woman to win a game that she started. In this particular game, she saved 21 out of 24 shots. So there you have it. That was the uh, that was Hockey Blast in the Imagisport Showcase today. And once again, feel free to comment either here on YouTube or on the Facebook or like I say, if any uh, requests as to games that you want to see uh, on this channel, please uh, drop me an email, djones90 at yahoo.com. I would love to hear from you. So uh, once again, our final score from the Knoxville Civic Coliseum the Knoxville Cherokees 6 and the Johnstown Chiefs 3. Uh, from all of us here at Imagine Sports, this is Derek Jones saying thank you once again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And most of all, keep on rolling. Bye-bye.